Hi YouTube, in this video we're going to continue our discussion of what we are calling the standard topology on the set of real numbers. So to define a topology you have to define what an open set is. So we are saying that an open set U, so U, a subset of the real numbers, is open if for all x in U we can find some epsilon greater than zero such that we have a neighborhood about x that's contained entirely in u. And we're calling this a topology, but we haven't quite proved its topology. So in this video, we're going to prove the last piece. And after this last piece, we'll officially be able to call it um, a, a topology. So we have another lemma. And this lemma is that the intersection, the intersection, of any finite family, so of any finite family, of open sets is open in this topology. So proof. So to start the proof, we'll start by considering uh, a finite family of open sets. So suppose that we have v sub 1 through v sub n. Suppose these are open sets. And now we have to consider the intersection of these sets. So let w be equal to the intersection of this finite family as i runs from 1 to n. So to show w is open, we have to take an x in w and show there is an epsilon neighborhood about x entirely contained in w. So our claim is w is open. And so we'll start again by taking an x. So take any x in w. So the natural thing to do now is write down what it means to be in w. So if x is in w, x is in this intersection. If it's in the intersection, intersection, that means it's in each of these v sub i's. Then x is in v sub i for i equals 1 to all the way to n. It's in each one of these, right? It's in v sub 1, and v sub 2, and v sub 3, and so on. It's in all of them. Since x is in v sub i, and v sub i is open, just reiterating it for clarity, so we have x in v sub i, and v sub i is open. So using the definition of open, there exists some say epsilon i such that we have a neighborhood about x contained in v sub i. And this is true, this is true for each i, so from 1, and, and so on. So the statement is true for each i. So for each i, this is true. So we have a finite number of epsilons. We have epsilon sub 1, epsilon sub 2, all the way to epsilon sub n. And we want to find an epsilon that's small enough so that we can create a neighborhood around x that's contained in all of these v sub i's. So the key idea here is, a key idea in all of mathematics, is that whenever you have a finite set, you can take the minimum, okay? So we're going to set epsilon equal to the minimum of epsilon sub 1, epsilon sub 2, dot, 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 epsilon sub n. So our epsilon will be the minimum of these. Then for each i, so 1, 2, all the way to n. x minus epsilon 
x plus epsilon, this set is contained in all of these other ones. It's contained in each one of these. And each one of these is contained in v sub i. So for each i, this set, this epsilon neighborhood, is contained in this set, which is contained in v sub i. So for each i, our epsilon neighborhood is contained in v sub i. Hence, our epsilon neighborhood is contained in the intersection of the v sub i's. Right? It's contained in each one, so it's therefore contained in the intersection, which is what we said was w. So given an x and w, we found an epsilon greater than 0, such that there was a neighborhood of x entirely contained in the intersection. I forgot to put the uh, <laughs> subset symbol there, so I'm glad I went over it again. Um, that's it. That completes the proof. So now we've essentially proven that uh, this is a topology, right? So recall the definition of a topology was that the entire set and the empty set were open. So I think in the first video, we proved that the real numbers and the empty set were open, so are open, using this definition of open sets. Two, we proved that the union of any family of open sets is open. I believe that was the previous video. And then three, in this video, we proved that the intersection of any finite family, any finite family of open sets is open. So we proved all three of these things. And that means that our topology is indeed a topology. So therefore, uh, we have a topology. We have a topology on the set of real numbers. And our topology is defined, again, by the way we define open sets. So when you're dealing with topology, you define what it means for a set to be open. And then if you satisfy these three conditions, then you have what's called a topology on your set. So I hope this uh, video has been helpful. That's it.